Hi guys, this is Caitlin, founder of From Bitches to Buddhas. And today we have Jasmine, who this lovely glass of wine is sitting with the Vegas skyline, which is so underrated and so parallel to what's happening here in my bedroom. But um, Jasmine, why don't you tell everyone a little about yourself and then we can get into why this is happening. Okay, so hi guys, welcome, thanks for watching. I'm Jasmine Manka and I'm a transformational and success coach. And I help you step into your power and discover your purpose and finally realize that you can have anything you want in life. So, Caitlin, why don't you explain what, <laughs> what this is about? Like, what's happening here? So the reason why I decided to reach out via Instagram message, because that's just like the thing to do, um, to, to Jasmine is for a few reasons. One, I noticed that she was an IPEC graduate, which is the program I'm currently doing to get my certification. And two, she was just like pretty and like with it. So I felt like, I felt like it was just like a normal, um, she looked approachable and I, I was really into a lot of things she was posting. I've seen some of her live videos and a lot of her messages correlate with the things that I represent in my blog posts. So I just wanted to have like an open forum discussion with her and see, you know, we wanted to talk a little bit about women in today's society and how you can keep mindfulness and kind of a spirituality, high consciousness growth while you're becoming an entrepreneur and growing your own business. So um, as two life coaches, um, we have a lot of background in that type of field. And Jasmine, I wanted to talk more specifically about how you stay grounded and not let fear get in the way of just following your dream and following your idea to build the business. What do you like feel about that? So how do I stay grounded? Yeah. I always and foremost, this is one of my top things I do. When I, before I do something or before I go to a situation that might be new for me or just something, un, well, something, how do I say, unexpected happens, yeah. I ask myself, how does that make me feel? And I literally have a conversation with myself in my head and ask myself, what's going on for me? What is showing up for me? And if I feel uncomfortable, I make sure to understand what is making me feel uncomfortable and how can I resolve that. So I'm not going to stay in a place where I don't feel welcomed or something like that. You know, sometimes you just yeah. enter a room and you feel a bit awkward and you don't know what's going on. Mostly it's not them. It's actually you because that's the attitude that you show up with and that's the attitude that you are going to give to the other people and that's what they kind of expect to receive because I'm a, well, I'm a big fan of the law of attraction because that's the vibration that you would kind of send out to. So how do I stay grounded? I literally have the conversation with myself and ask myself, how do I want to show up today? Who am I? What are my strengths? What do I want people, to, who, do people who do people want to see me as? Yeah. And I, I show up like that. And that's what I do. Yeah. I have a quick question because I thought it was interesting when you just said, I like the idea of like when you go into a situation and like if you feel awkward or like you, whatever, that's actually your reflection on it. And it's not necessarily the people there that are making you feel that way. Do you remember like a recent situation where that happened, where you are at that level of high consciousness, where you walk in, you feel awkward, and then you're like, fuck, I'm doing this to myself. It's not really them. Like, how do you even handle that? Um, well, sometimes it's when you don't know what to expect. And mm. um, now I have to be really honest with you. It hasn't happened to me for a while. I think yeah. it's been since, since, gradu well, since the IPEC and since all of the mind consciousness, I always prepare myself and I'm already in that mindset. Sure. So let, let's, you know, cause you kind of adapt to it because this has just become who I am now. This is like literally how I start my day because of the morning rituals. It's just how I embrace the day and I know what I want, know who I show up and it has become me coming my best version of myself, you know, but the recent, the like, I don't know, it might not be the most, well, the recent one, but the like, one where it was really strong. Like I have a really strong memory of it. That was really awkward. I think it was at prom. Mm. When I graduated from school and it was the last time I would see everyone, again, putting a lot of pressure and expectations 
on yeah. everyone because it's like okay so guys this is the last chance of your whole life to yeah. say the thing you want to be saying yeah and I think also at my graduation from my university it's a bit it's a bit different because it's it's so huge you know but in school it was like the last bit or saying bye from a job yeah like quitting your job and you know this is your last day going back to that knowing to say goodbye I, and like having to say goodbye like what are my last words what are, what is the last impression that I'm going to give what, what are they going to remember me by because yeah. ultimately that's what we do in every single moment we show up and people remember you as something Mm -hmm. You're so right. So have you ever, first of all, it's a two-part question. When did this start happening for you? When, because unless you were like this your whole life, which I feel like is like super rare and that basically no. happens. <laughs> no. But like when, when was this shipped for you? So that's the first part of the question. And the second part of the question, I'm like, as I like lay down. And the second <laughs> part of the question is. What, what did IPEC say about stacking questions? <laughs> so right. Oh my God, don't even go there with me right now. <laughs> For another time. I just had to. <laughs> no, and it was so needed. You had to do it. Also, so like, have you, have you always been like this? If not, when did it happen? And secondly, you, you brought up before, because I just don't want to forget it. You brought up before, you know, this is how I start my day. I get myself in the mindset to show up. Like, what are some of your showing up rituals? Because my, you know, the people that follow me, they know that I like to do, um, like three things that you're grateful for every single morning. This is something I've done for a really long time. Also what I do, um, I haven't shared this with the people that follow me, but I could even share this with you right now. What, you know, when you wake up and your bot, your eyes aren't open yet, but like your body's waking up and you're just like, fuck, I don't want to open my eyes. When that happens for you every single morning, I've been doing this for about two years now. Wow. My eyes aren't open yet. And I'll like wiggle my toes and I'll like move my hands and I'll be like, okay, like, thank the universe or thank God, whatever it is, like I have mobility today. And then like, I'll like move a little bit more and like, thank God I can, you know, feel this today. Open my eyes. Thank God I can see today. Like, thank God I'm breathing today. Cough. Thank God I can hear today. Like everything is so like you are showing gratefulness. It's yeah. every single thing because it's like what happens when, you know, there are those tragedies where one day you you lose that something and it's like why why did you wait so long when you could have been grateful for it the entire time just little things so that is something that I do and I tell you know some of the people that I'm close to and my clients to do as well and it makes drastic changes so that's the second part of your question and I want to hear what you do so first part yeah. when did this change for you okay so the big change actually happened in my I guess it was kind of building up intuitively subconsciously you do kind of realize okay I went to uni I was studying international business with French and Spanish I knew that I wanted to go into economics I did have a little like path between art and design and economics but I still ended up going into real estate finally mm -hmm. graduated sat in the job had the perfect apartment perfect boyfriend whatever you know all of these like things was perfect what school what uni were you at I was at University of Westminster in London. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually going back to uni in um, October. Mm -hmm. And because I knew that I didn't want to do a master back then, and I, I just did my bachelor's, and I knew that uh, there was something more. Mm -hmm. So funnily enough, that kind of is part of your question. I was like, there's something else that I'm going to be doing. I have already such a great knowledge on international business. My family's in real estate. I was in finance. I just learned two more languages. So I speak five languages already. I'm like, okay, that's it. Like, I don't have to learn anymore. I need to live now. Like, yeah. I want to actually see what, what's happening. What is it? What does it feel like to actually be in a job, work in a job, nine to five? Do I like it? Do I not like it? And I was like, you never know what company I get into. I might get into law. I might get into psychology. I might get into real estate, economics, finance. You never know. So I went to real estate and I realized that's not it. And um, yeah, I started IPEC because I realized that I'm a very intuitive person and my mom kept telling me that I need to do something with people, helping people, and that's who I am. And she, in fact, did a coaching certification years and years ago. Oh, did she? So, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, nothing like IPEC or something. It's German, actually, because uh, I'm from Berlin, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, so a lot of things coming together. 
but it just happened for me. It was kind of, I searched something online that was easy for me, location-based, certification-based program. Everything was check, check, check. Loved it, went there. The moment I went in there, I realized, and this is why I was not excited to get up. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This clarity, like literally, it's like, you know, this emoji where your like head like explodes. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. this is what I'm meant to be doing. I'm supposed to help people. Oh, yeah. I read people. This is me. So I kept progressing. Literally day two, I tell my mom, I'm like, mom, I'm quitting my job. <laughs> She's like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just got the job like half a year ago. You love this job. The job was really great. Like nothing against my boss in case he's watching this. No, but I love him. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> it was amazing, you know, but and I felt really guilty, you know, and this, this might answer a little bit about the grounding question as well. I didn't feel happy and I know that he sort of needed me because I was his right hand, you know, we did a lot of stuff together. I knew everything, literally where everything was on the computer in the office, everything. Yeah. And I told him, we went for, we went, actually, we went for a walk in uh, the park in, um, in Hyde Park and it was he looked beautiful and we were like, I, I told him, I was like, um, I'm really sorry, but I think I need to be going into a different direction. I think I have a different calling. And he asked me, how can he help? Mm. You know? And, and that's when you know. And that's when I knew. I was, and he, he even, you know, so cute. He even offered me to work part-time in case it doesn't go so well in the beginning, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, that's that's where I love to think to myself and even now this is another example if you don't ask the answer is always no sure you never know and I was you like know. okay so this backdrop obviously has to be utilized in a very positive way and yeah. you seem awesome let's connect let's do it now because if you don't do it now god knows what's going to come up the next week the next days and then we have this and something no if you really want something do it now and just get it done, enjoy it, embrace it. And if we want, we can do another meeting next week. You know what I mean? This kind of thing. You know, that was yeah. actually really, it was really cool that you did that because typically like, yeah, like I'm in, I'm in no place right now to be like holding a talk, like was about to go to bed, just finished watching Big Brother for the night. Like I, like it wasn't in my mindset, but then you just come in here like, a firecracker and you're like let's just do like let's just do it and like there was part of my head that was saying like no but then I was like wait why the fuck wouldn't I like I'm such a hypocrite I the video you're like okay fine <laughs> I know, I'm literally like okay here I am <laughs> right. but it's amazing the biggest well, thing well done for that I really appreciate that and it takes a lot of guts to do that and be like mm -hmm. you know what I don't care because what we're talking about it matters about what we talk about on the inside rather than thinking about what we post on Instagram what the fonts look like what yeah. the unique color branding and all of that kind of stuff no because we're dealing with real issues and real people and I think that's why it's so important you know your greatness shouldn't be determined on how many followers you have it should be determined on your mindset and how you can help and what kind of shift and movement you want to make in life. It's so, so no, I'm, I'm, that's why I love this. It makes me yeah. really happy it's that you obviously believe the same. I, I do. And it's all about, for me, it's like, here's the thing. There is, and when you are starting a business, especially women, especially in this tech modern world, social media is important. Having followers, unfortunately, like that's how you begin a tribe and like that's yes. how you have people, you know, showing up. And sometimes you get into the habit of this needs to be perfect. I need to look this way in order for people to like it, this or that. But then you got to stop yourself because in the type of business we're doing and the type of world that we're shifting and this quantum shift that we're asking people to hop on board with, you're right, this doesn't fucking matter. So this, and the other thing is, everything that happens in this life is perfect. Like just the way it's meant to happen. So this exchange is so perfect. Like the, it couldn't happen at a better or in a better way. For sure. So I the same. let's talk about something else. Let me answer your question, your second question, which you yeah, forgot. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, tell love me it. how you prepare okay. yourself to show up. So I love, you mean the morning? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. The morning yeah, yeah, ritual. Yeah. So I also practice gratitude and whoever's watching this and doesn't practice gratitude, 
do it. It's amazing. And I literally, oh my God, it's so good. I was like, I was going to show you my phone, but I'm obviously failing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sticker on the back and it says, what can you be grateful for today? On my phone, I was going to show it to you, which is not possible at this current moment, but yeah. We're, I have a sticker. we're visualizing it. We are. Yeah. It's, it's on the back of my phone and it reminds me of it day by day. And every time, obviously we're on our phones a lot, I have the sticker and it reminds me of it. And so I practice gratitude. And by the way, I think it's really interesting. I never had that feeling of you closing your eyes and you're not awake yet. Literally when I wake up, I'm like, okay, it's a new day. <laughs> yeah, let's get up. I don't know. I've never had, and I love that. That's so different for you. I never yeah. knew that. These kind of topics you don't usually discuss. So I think that's cool. Yeah, it's like I'll wake up, but you're not like I'm awake. I'm fully awake, but like I just I'm choosing to keep my eyes closed for a little bit. Longer. Oh, okay, I get it. So maybe it's become a habit that you like. Maybe it has. Maybe it has. Because like when I'm awake, like I have this like really soft like you know the app on the phone where it like measures your time hours of sleep. Yeah. So I make for it to get enough sleep. I think that's one of my top it things. Is it's also a ritual. Like I need to have at least seven hours of sleep. And if not, I'm gonna like, I need to, because I know that my body needs it. And I know that in years it's going to catch up on me. And I know we have to work hard to achieve our goals in a way, you know, we have to constantly be doing stuff, yeah. but we also have to make sure that our body is healthy and we're feeling comfortable and getting the sleep that we need to, you okay. know, get up and work and do and just and to show up the best way. Yeah. You can. It's true. For sure. So it's I practice true. gratitude. Sorry. You were saying. No, something. no, I was saying. So aside from gratitude, what else? Yeah, so gratitude, um, I, I kind of do it until I feel happy with it. So probably like a minute or two or three sometimes, sometimes more, sometimes less. And then I have my affirmations. And um, I was really big on affirmations. And because I had a lot of questions um, on affirmations, I actually created like a free downloadable affirmations guide mm -hmm. because sometimes people who don't know enough about coaching mindset personal development it might be a bit of a tricky at the beginning to think about affirmations so yeah. i actually included um this affirmations guide with different sections oh, so like yeah. health love wealth happiness um and love I'll put so, that in the in the video sorry i'm saying i'll, I'll throw that link in in this video oh, I think you. that's really sweet because I wanted to kind of inspire people with that to understand that they can use that for the beginning and then they can obviously tailor it on their own and I sometimes really like to look through them so they're actually my affirmations that I've used and wanted to share them and then people can use them however they want so I do the affirmations three to four minutes and then I meditate 10 minutes at least and um when I'm with my mom, because we're traveling together at the moment, which I think is amazing. Um, so oh, it's, yeah. it, it's like, it's, it's been an amazing time. It's been an amazing two months. And the fact that she was able to come with me was just so great. It's been two months of you traveling? Yeah, I've been traveling through the US for two months. I, I quit my job, remember? Right. This was a year. Okay, so walk, walk us through this. You quit your <laughs> job in what month? Okay, sorry? You quit your job in, in what month? What month was this? In, in February. Okay, so February you quit your job. 2017. Right. March 2017, I moved out. I quit my apartment, my beautiful penthouse next to Harrods. <laughs> my boyfriend, all of that. Bye-bye. I wanted more. Yeah, because, you know, I had a really good job. I had everything that I wanted. But that's why, you know, sometimes people underestimate. They're like, but yeah, she had nothing to walk away from. We all have something to go walk away yeah, from. Yeah. Everybody has their own story. And even if you have children and you have a husband and you have whatever, you have so much stuff. If you really want something, you are going to make it happen. It's you also, it's also going it to happen. It's also whatever, whatever is meant to happen is going to happen. So like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, making the choices sooner rather than later is just a benefit. And, I mean, it's kind of what we coaches do. We help you get what you want a little bit quicker. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And just, yeah. So I did that in March. I went, I, yeah, I left London. I had my stuff shipped to Germany my whole life to boarding school in, um, when I, since I was 13. So I literally had stuff for, like, 
don't know, like years and years and years, mm. all of it just had it shipped to Germany. And I was like, I kind of want to travel. I want to go out. I want to, you know, see the world. And so we started booking this trip. And, and I asked my mom, I was like, actually, I kind of want you to come with me because it would be a shame to not share this with my mom because it would be beautiful to have her on my journey and she's always supporting me and you know kind of like it that sometimes even if I'm like oh I couldn't, can't be bothered to do this kind of like just do it and you yeah. know <laughs> yeah has so, she been enjoying it sorry has she been enjoying the trip oh for sure yeah 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 as I mentioned my mom got married in Vegas so this is a really special moment for her too it's amazing yeah. Yeah, that's so that's what we've been doing. Sorry. Where have you been? Where, where did you travel to? When is the trip over? Okay, okay. So I went to, oh are you gosh. sure? Yeah. I went to Chicago. Uh, in Chicago, I actually, I had, um, from Chicago, I left to Boston. Boston, Atlanta. Um, oh, my God, this was already, like, so long ago. Uh, my mom's talking about yeah. Washington, Washington DC then we went to um LA then no. mom please give me <laughs> distracting me the name was cut it off sorry can you cut this off <laughs> no oh my god this is keep the camera rolling Oh my God. See guys, my mom's been perfect help. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I've been to a lot of places and, and it's been amazing. So some of these include the cities I just named. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's been great. And we spent a month in Miami where I just kept going with the vision with the law of attraction. And I was like, things are going to present itself. Thoughts become things. Trusting, trusting, trusting. And I ended up filming my digital course in Salt Lake City and I had no intention of doing that because well I had an intention but I didn't know it's gonna happen That's amazing. Um, I was speaking at a yoga um, health and wellness festival because I met a doctor who I actually felt sick and he's a holistic doctor and he's like oh my god you seem so awesome what do you do do you want to come speak with me I'm like awesome okay let's do it like you know it just kept happening and happening and happening um, also now I was speaking at Business Besties event because um, Danny Watson from The Clique um, hosted the event and I, like, I spoke about mindfulness there and mindset and how important that is to have the right mindset to start your business, right? So yeah. it was just it was just fantastic. I mean, it's just been amazing. I'm curious to know what's going to happen tonight, tomorrow, whilst I'm in Vegas. So we're going to be in Vegas now, and then we're going to be in San Francisco, and then we're going to fly back to Berlin, and yeah. then there is a few more places that I will be traveling this year. Amazing. And I just want to say for anybody watching this that this is a prime example on how manifesting and creating yourself like a law of attraction that thoughts become things. This is just such a prime example, and I'm yes. so excited that you were able to share this because it is transformational, the things and the miracles that can occur when yes. you just show up in the most authentic way and you continue to say, this is what I'm deserving of, this is what's going to happen, and you just live your life without risk or without any sort of doubt or, you know, it's, it's so beautiful. The fact that, you know, I saw, like I saw on Instagram that you recorded something, but never in a million years did I think that you recording that course was not planned. Like I, I would never. I was basically, let me talk a bit more about why I recorded and what I did. Yes. So I wanted to share my journey with people out there. And usually I coach with women, but this is actually for men and women and anyone who wants to make a change in their life and might not know what a coach is, might not know what personal development mindset, da, 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 everything is. And they have this six week program they can watch in their own time. So if they're shy, because I used to be super shy. I used to be an introvert. I used to be really self-conscious and like not, don't even talk to anyone and just wow. put your plugs and, you know, hoodie up. That's it, you know? So, and now obviously I'm completely the opposite because I wanted to make a change. And wow. I knew kind of deep down I wanted to, but I didn't know how, you know, the how was always a big question mark. 
And I've answered all of these questions in my digital course, Be the Best Version of You. I've put all of the tools together, starting off with an ultimate clarity guide because that's what I needed. So I created this guide for myself, which I've now fine tuned with all of the ICF accredited skills, also from the IPEC and you know, the Law of Being program, Energy Leadership Development System, inspired by all of these amazing tools out there created the clarity guide, then the mindset, so how to manifest your mindset, visualizations, affirmations, everything's in there. So you get a really big workbook book, work book with it, which is gonna change your life because watching something is not enough. You need to literally implement it in your own life. So the mindset and then how to get rid of limiting beliefs, then increasing, increasing your strengths, decreasing your uh, weaknesses, and then how to gain confidence and ultimately how to practice and maintain inner peace Beautiful. because that's key. And now I've colored all, covered all of these kind of colored, colored my picture, but kind of areas in one course, which I wanted to share with the world and make it happen for everyone, you know? And this is an inspiration and it's definitely, I mean, in the six weeks, you're going to go through a huge transformation, like you said, and that's why I call myself a transformational and success coach, because with this course, you are able to really level up your personal and also professional life, because obviously on how you want to apply it to your life, it's going to happen, mm -hmm. right? So that's yeah, nice. and I kind of went through it without planning it. It just kind of came to me intuitively and it, I kept building and building and obviously I was I was writing content and I took stuff from there and like you know how we have all of these million tabs open documents open notes here and there put everything together put it into order use tools use stuff added you know and created this whole course how long did it take you guys to record this oh my god it was <laughs> a while um, let me let me tell you something before that so I was in Miami um, whilst I was in there for a month and I kind of I was on Facebook you know just in some groups and browsing and it was something like entrepreneur blah 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 and somebody commented and I was like oh I'm Michael hmm digital course coach that sounds really interesting I wanted to be doing this for a while so I worked with him to set it up and he was like, okay, so I'm in Salt Lake City. And I was like, okay, but if I do this course, not if, when I do this course, I want it to be ultra good quality. Like I want it to be like, they're literally, they feel like they're in a room with me. I want it to be amazing sound. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I just received the first video for the advert. And like, I was jumping through the room earlier. I'm going to share my page as well. I was like, oh my God, it's the first, like, you know, anything that I see, I haven't seen myself. Super exciting. But um, yeah, so it took me ultimately three days of 10 hours filming. Yeah. <laughs> but, but how amazing is it that it was 10 hours, but like how effortless could it be? Like you were speaking about things that are huge and like you're, oh, God. it doesn't feel like, you know, 10 hours. It doesn't feel like anything it, like it that. Does, uh, it did, it did because, yeah. because you need to, because every time you, you have a different topic. So I made sure that I was in the right mindset. I kept meditating. I kept going through what I wanted to be doing. And then ultimately I was like, I wanted to be as authentic and real as possible. I'm literally going to speak from my soul. And I know that all of the things that I want to share are going to come from, from me. Yeah, so I yeah. was really speaking after that because I wanted to share so much more than I just wrote down. But yeah, it was, it was, oh my God, amazing. So if you guys ever whoever's watching or you want to do an online course contact me and i'm going to give you his details because... yeah we'll we'll give them the details as well and i i'm really happy and i'm really glad that we did this so spontaneously because just from your story there's a lot i think the biggest takeaway with everything that has been said so far is the fact that you are someone i've known you for i want to say seven minutes you, you are yeah. <laughs> you are someone that shows up in a way that is so fucking cool like it's just it is it is one of the most like authentic things i have ever seen like you are owning the fact that this is your fucking path and you're gonna do it and there's not one thing or one physical 
obstacle that's going to get in your way of doing it and you keep using gratefulness, you're, you're meditating, which is unbelievable, you're, you're focused and you're doing what you were put in this physical earth to do. And I am grateful to call you a friend now. And I'm excited yeah. that all of my followers get to now, you know, look into your stuff and it's all beautiful. And I'm, I'm just really stoked that we did this. Um, so much Caitlin and it's I mean likewise and thank you so so much for reaching out and contacting me and being like hey what's up you know and I love that and I really appreciate that and like I, the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna like check out your stuff and be like what does she even do <laughs> like I love it you know now I know you and now I'm gonna read it with different eyes and I get You're to well. post with your voice reading it like to me that's really what the blog is. If everyone that reads my my stuff knows that like you're reading it in my voice. Like exactly. I am the bridge between I can speak, you know, spirituality and the secret and a course in miracles and I miss spirituality, but I'm also a girl that grew up on the north shore of Long Island that can speak that. So I'm I'm the bridge. I'm the bridge in between all of this and I the goal is to get more people on board. More people that wouldn't even think cuz I was that girl. I was that girl that was like what the hell is any of this? And then Yeah, me too. Yeah, it just comes in a billion years I thought that I would ever enjoy Pilates, yoga, meditating. None of it. None of it. Yeah. None of it. Now look at look at how we've shown up and it's it's not it's it's my goal and it's my hope that only more people can feel the way we do about just living yeah. and just kind of tell themselves look how easy it is to ask someone yeah. and it just works out it's so true and like you know you didn't even have like a resistance to just be like hey girl let's do this and I was like yes call me now he <laughs> was like oh let's do it next week and I was like this or now. crazy but <laughs> should we talk now <laughs> right I'm like, yeah whatever we'll or just do it now oh, yeah we'll just, we watch the sunset <laughs> that's together <laughs> our first right. sunset Caitlin so <laughs> Jasmine, thank you so so much I'm gonna end this video now um and thank stop so talking, but this was incredible. And again, guys, please check out her stuff. I'm going to put it in the article below, but this has been wonderful. And I really appreciate you being here. You too. Thank you so much for making this happen. Bye. Bye.